Hi there, and happy World Big Day. I am Elle McNichol, and I am the author of A Kind of Spark, and ooh, show us who you are, and my third book, Like a Charm, which I'm talking about today for World Book Day, and I'm doing this World Book Day video in collaboration with Portobello Bookshop, the most incredible bookshop on the Portobello High Street, who did my launch for Like a Charm, and it was so good. It was so good that I had to kind of lie down on the floor and cry afterwards. They are a brilliant bookshop, and I'm so glad we're doing World Book Day video together today. Um, World Book Day, wow. You're probably wondering why I'm wearing this beret, <laughs> because if you read the book, you will understand. I mean, you can see on the front cover, Ramia, the main character in Like a Charm, who is a young neurodivergent girl who can see through the glamour of magical creatures, but I'll get to that in a minute. She is wearing a beret as well, as, as am I, in, in, in celebration of World Book Day, because World Book Day, first and foremost, is about books, but let's not lie. We do love the dressing up aspect of World Book Day as well. And I remember when I was your age, uh, the, the children watching this, um, I'm the grand old age of 29 years old now, but when I was young uh, and we had World Book Day, I always wanted to dress up as my favourite characters who were a little bit more obscure. Uh, they weren't exactly Willy Wonka or... Um, Fantastic Mr. Fox and I just always find it difficult because they didn't have a trademark look um, that I could rip off and people would know that that's who I was for World Book Day. But luckily, Ramia in, a, in Like a Charm wears a beret in almost every scene. She has about 20. I think we have 20 different berets mentioned in the book. Um, so if, if you wear a beret, as I am today, you're dressed up. You're dressed up as Ramia from Like a Charm. So that's cool. So I'm wearing a beret in honour of Ramia. So Like a Charm is my new book and it's about Ramia who moves to Edinburgh where one day she spots little Greyfriars Bobby jump down from his podium. And we all know that he's a statue so he shouldn't be jumping anywhere. He jumps down from his podium at Candlemaker Row and trots down to the bookshop Avizandum and sneaks into the door. And that leads Ramia on a quest in Edinburgh where she realises that she can see all the supernatural creatures of Edinburgh that other people cannot. She can see the vampire that works in the library. She can see the troll that works in the pub she can see them and they need her help because they are being hunted by an old enemy and Ramia is the only one seemingly that can help them uh, there's witches there's magic there's bookshops there's Edinburgh my hometown and there's berets of course which is why I'm wearing one for World Book Day now what I love about World Book Day apart from dressing up <laughs> is that it's a day that is totally free and open and able to talk about books and our love of reading and although like a lot of you, I am a reader, therefore every day is kind of World Book Day. The best thing about World Book Day is hearing about what other people read, getting that excited buzz, that word of mouth conversation going. And there's no better pal for helping that, really, than your teachers who love to read, your librarians if you have one, and your local bookshop who will have plenty of good book recommendations. Um, and that's what's so exciting nowadays. When I was your age, <laughs> when I was your age, I'm so old, uh, we had a mobile library that like drove around the uh the the village and that was the our access to books didn't have a library in our primary school um uh not until I, I moved schools at least and then world book day was the one day where there were so many books brought into school and it was it was really really exciting and really really special so i really really hope that you are celebrating world book day in your own way and that you're having a good time um it means a lot to me um, and it always has meant a lot to me to be able to talk freely and openly about how much I love to read. It really is the most brilliant hobby and I really hope that you're reading something fun and exciting this World Book Day. So it's goodbye from me and it's happy World Book Day. Um, I'm going to keep wearing this beret even when it's not World Book Day actually because I quite enjoy them but I hope that you're having a wonderful World Book Day no matter what you're doing, no matter what you're reading. Remember reading for pleasure means reading for pleasure, it means reading what you like whether that is a big novel by Dickens or Herman Melville or Ali Smith or if it's a fantastic children's book that you love or if it's a graphic novel or a comic or you're listening to an audiobook reading for pleasure it doesn't matter what you're reading as long as you're reading and having a good time and that's what world book day is all about so it's bye from me it's bye from ramia and her beret and it's a huge thank you to portobello bookshop as ever and it's a happy happy world book day guys bye